In the last decade, the city of Huntsville has grown exponentially. There are more than 200,000 people living here in the Rocket City, and it has become a premier destination to work and live. But are businesses able to keep up with the growth? Ariana Willoughby gives us an inside look. This bottle of mead took 14 months of preparation and a lot of hard work, but Ravenwood Meadery is finally up and running at Low Mill. Alabama has strict alcohol laws compared to other states, so that could be why this is the only meadery in the Tennessee Valley. Um, the whole idea of starting the meadery to begin with, I was a little hesitant because I knew the laws were strict. I know that a lot of people had dreams of starting something like that, but were scared. Um, to be honest with you, even though the laws have changed and I hadn't experienced them before, the process was grueling. Klein says that as the city of Huntsville grows, the meadery will still remain in Low Mill and have a small town feel. Low Mill is my second home. It is my creative space, so I have no intention of moving out. I didn't want to expand the business to the point where it was going to get too commercial. And you're probably wondering, what is mead? Mead is a fermented beverage made with honey, water, and yeast. It can be most likened to wine, but it is neither a beer, a wine, or a spirit. And the most important question is, how does it taste? It is delicious. Yeah, it finishes kind of like an apple juice, which is surprising. Like the aftertaste on the tongue is kind of juice-like, which I didn't expect. Klein has been a part of the Low Mill community for several years, and she wanted to expand and try something new. Ravenwood sells mead by the bottle, or you can stop by and have a glass. We could not have done this without the support of the community. Um, our social media following has been there from day one when it was an idea um, and without them we couldn't have made it this far. At Low Mill, Ayanna Willoughby, Fox 54 News.